Hey, y'all. Hi, we're Mike and Tammy from Carving Out Time. And we're going to tell you about our first week in the RV. Okay. First week notes. Um, it's been interesting. Yep. We have learned a lot. Uh, we figured out how to do yucky stuff, like dump the sewer tank, and it actually wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not uh, at all. It seemed, seemed to go pretty well. No issues there. I think we there. used too much water in the black tank, but that's okay, too, because we, yep. we are hooked up to Better more water than not enough. Right. So. Um, our skylight has a leak. That'll be fixed this week. Yep. Fixed tomorrow. So. Yeah. I've got the leak week. kind of fixed for right now with flex tape. Um, seems to be working. But yeah, it's not leaking at the moment. Since so. the skylight itself on the roof of the RV is cracked, we do need to get it replaced. Right. You don't so. want to leave it like that forever. The plastic so. on it is very brittle. Seems to, uh, that they don't make these things to stand up in the sunlight very well. And, you know, we're in Florida and it's hot. So we have had to insulate the windows. What's that stuff we put on the windows? Reflectix. We put Reflectix on all the windows and that has made a, much That has made a huge here. difference in keeping it cool in here. The air conditioner is actually not running right now and it doesn't run 24 seven like it did the first day or two that we were in right. here before we had the Reflectix up. So we're learning a few things there. But I have to take the Reflectix off the window to look out at my pretty view out the back window. So that's, yeah, it's what it is because it stays yeah. cool enough. The bed is actually pretty comfortable. We bought a new mattress off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. It's a memory foam mattress. Uh, it's really comfortable. It's, it's just got a no lot bounce smaller to than it. our king. <laughs> if one person rolls over, the other person doesn't feel it. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit, since we had a king bed before, and this is a RV queen, it's called. Uh, it's a short queen. It just isn't quite as roomy as the king bed was, but we're making it work. But I haven't punched you yet. No, not yet. Not yet. When we were first married and we had a queen bed, I punched him like, two weeks in so not on purpose i was dreaming so for any young folks planning on getting married king bed is the way to go definitely <laughs> <laughs> um a bit of an issue for me is that i have always been cooking with our air fryer that i love i would cook with it probably three four times a week when we were in the house and the rv does not pull enough power for it so i have to figure out how i'm going to cook because I didn't want to have to grill outside every day because, again, we're based in Florida. It's too hot to be outside all the time grilling. I'm not real sure yet what I'm going to do to fix this problem, but... The gas stove inside the RV here seems to heat things up pretty quickly, too. Pretty quickly, um, yeah. Just cooking just me, eggs in yeah, the morning. cooking a couple of eggs every morning just seems to really add heat to it the up. heat in here. And the air has to run for a while to get it, get rid of that heat. So we're trying to figure out what to do about that. Sparky is very unsure of what to do in here. He runs back and forth between the chairs and hasn't quite found his spot yet. Yep. He stays with his mom, wherever she's at. <laughs> he's at my feet. He's he's literally up here trying to beg to get up here with us now. Yeah. Come here, Sparky. Come on. So. See? Told you. <laughs> he's going to beat you in the face. So. All right. Um, Anything else? I what else has been interesting? Um, Wi-Fi, internet access yeah. has been... Oh, it's been a hassle. It's been come and go. But who cares if we don't have TV as long as he can work? Yep. <laughs> um, but that's been really our only two big issues has been Wi-Fi and my air fryer not working. So if you guys have ideas for me for how to handle that, please drop a message, let me know, text me, something, give me ideas. Yeah, there are external power outlets on the RV. Um, I may, I've got a heavy, heavy gauge extension cord that I may plug into it. I also need to check the pedestal out here where we have our 30 amp plugged in. There may be an extra plug there. I just don't remember. It was, you know, over but if a week I've got to cook outside I, anyway, I might as well yeah, be on a grill. So exactly. yeah. I'm trying to find um, something else, something else that I can make work somehow, some way. Yep. Um, getting used to being in a very small space. Yeah, it's a it's a challenge <laughs> because both of us can't. There, there's very little places you can be here in the RV where you're not occupying the same space at the same time. So if one person is staying in the kitchen counter, another person can't be there. Um, things like that. One person standing by the stove, 
another person can't be there. It's not like a normal kitchen where you've got all kinds of room behind you, uh, so to speak. There's just so in other no words, room. he can't help me cook. Right. There's there's no way. One person no has to prepare the meals. I prepare my breakfast in the morning. I make eggs usually pretty much every morning. Um, and, you know, she just stays out of the way until I'm done. Although she helps with the coffee. Yeah. So uh, the coffee's been fun. Uh, we don't have a Keurig anymore. Uh, we didn't want to worry about the power that a Keurig pulls. So we're doing pour over coffee and seem to really enjoy that so far. Anything else you can think of? I I'm trying of. to think of any we other We do have more storage in here than I anticipated, which is yeah. really nice. I have the bigger closet um, <laughs> because, believe it or not, I have more clothes than Tammy does. Uh, I've got running clothes. I've got uh, going to Walmart clothes. I've got sleeping clothes. I've got work clothes if I have to go to the office. which Those are not in his closet. Yeah, those, We've got those, those put not, away because he's actually, not going to need them Those are day. actually in storage right now. Uh, because it's been so long since I've had to go to the to the actual office. Um, but, yeah, I have more clothes than her. I've got three, four pair of shoes. Um, I do have more shoes than him. <laughs> so yeah. my shoes are in his closet, but that's okay. So are his. So that works. Most of the systems in the RV here seem pretty simple to work. Uh, the walkthrough video. We took a video of the walkthrough when we, when we uh, purchased the RV, when we picked it up. They walked us through all the systems and how they worked. We took a video of that and seemed to be able to work everything without any issues. Um, everything from the, you have to know how to work the hot water tank, for instance. Uh, our refrigerator works on both electric and gas, so does the hot water heater. So if the electricity goes out, which it has here because mm -hmm. of storms that we've had, it That's automatically, been a big problem in, in the RV this week. Yeah, a lot of storms. It automatically fails over to the gas system. So the gas system just fires right up and starts running the refrigerator and the hot water heater. No problems there. But we have had a lot of bad weather. Yes. Um, a lot of really heavy storms. We have a beautiful storms. site here on a lake. It's um, a small private lake. Yeah. Uh, it's not it's a lot very of quiet where right. we are. There's not right. a lot going on. There's, But there's nowhere nearby to hike or nowhere nearby to do anything. But again, it's Florida. It's hot. You right. don't want to try and hike right now anyway. Um, but the lake itself is beautiful. And we've enjoyed. I enjoy watching other people on their kayaks thinking, yes. I wish I had a kayak. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get one eventually. Yep. But the storms have been really nasty. Yeah. Um, we even had hail one night. So maybe when it when it cracked, cracked. Um, so... But yeah, we've, we've had some pretty nasty weather for our first week in the RV. Anything else? I can't think of anything else. So, if y'all want to keep up with our shenanigans, make sure you subscribe and ring the little bell thing so that you know when we're updating and adding more videos. Bye. Bye.